Welcome to today's talk session. My name is Deidre Moss and I'm the host of Can We Talk? I'm an educator, motivator, and a talk connoisseur. Today, we will be talking about friendship. And so today, I have no guests today. I am totally flying solo today. Um, but we still thought it was good to have this, this discussion around friendship. So in the spirit of the holidays, as we gather with family and friends, we thought it would be good to talk about the concept of friendship. What does friendship really mean? Who do we consider our friends? What friendship should look like and why friendship is so important. And so feel free to join in with me, add your comments as I normally do. I'm going to go through the comments and um, we're gonna have a talk today about friendship. So before we begin, if you are just tuning into the session from our social media page and you just join us, like and share this video, subscribe to our YouTube page, um, our YouTube channel using the links on our page, our, our different social media page. We need your support to continue these talks. Let us know if you would like to advertise with us as well. And um, if you wanna sponsor our program, we wanna hear from you. And with that, we'll get into our talk. So I normally start with a brief introduction, um, normally with my guests. So I will introduce myself. Again, my name is Deidre Moss. I'm an educator, motivator, and a talk on a <laughs> So with that, we're gonna talk about, uh, we're gonna talk a little bit about friendship. So I'm going to get to the, the um, comments of this video soon. Um, so I would really ask, what does friendship mean to me? Uh, for me, friendship is something that I feel as though you have a friend, you should be able to confide in them. You should be able to trust them. You should be able to tell them things and feel comfortable that what you tell them, you're not gonna hear it again, especially if you mention, you know, I don't wanna hear this again. Um, they're able to keep, they're able to keep information and, you know, not just take information and take it all over the place and basically be someone that you can trust. Um, I've been a friend to many persons who have shared things with me and, and they say, you know, I don't wanna hear this again. And I keep that to myself. And so for me, um, friendship, I guess it means different things to different persons, but for me, again, it definitely should be someone that you, that, that I can trust, someone that I can level up with, someone who I can motivate and who can mo motivate me, and then also be something that's reciprocal, and I hope I said that word right, but it should be a situation where um, they're not only gaining from you, but you're also gaining from them as well. So it's a give and take situation. And so that that is what the, to sum it up in an easy way, that is what friendship means to me. So I just want to jump to the comments. I'm going to mute myself for a minute. Okay, so if you're joining us, I do want to hear from you. I do want to get your comments. I do want to hear what your concept is. What, what does friendship mean to you? Um, and so I definitely want to hear from you. I'm going to go back and forth to the comments. But uh, in talking about, and again, I just want to mention, there's no guest today. So this is an open talk, open communication. I want to hear from you. I want to get your input in what we, you, what we deem as friendship. Again, we're in the holiday season. We're moving into a time when we're gonna be visiting family and friends. For some persons, this is a great experience. For others, they know that they're going to be in an environment that may trigger them in some ways. Um, and so you do have some situations where you go around to family and friends um, and they put you on the spot. And so we wanna talk about those things. Okay, so I wanna get to the next point. I want to talk about really the concept of what it means to be a true friend. And I think it's it's a great thing when you find a friend that's really, really 
a really a true friend, um, that's a great thing. And a lot of persons, they have people in their life who are great friends to them. Okay, other persons are still trying to find their way. <laughs> but um, for me, when I think about a true friend, if I look back at my experiences, I would say I may have encountered a true friend, but that would have been based on someone being in the faith. So that would have been someone who is uh, spiritually led. I believe that that person would have been a, a, a true friend, someone that I really um, really could have trusted with information. Outside of that, no, I don't, I haven't experienced that at all. But I'm going to jump back to my comments again. I want to hear from you. Have you experienced true friendship? Did, did you have a true friend, someone who you really feel that you could trust? Does this concept, does this really exist? Um, and so I definitely want to hear from you. So I'm going to go back and forth to the comments. And so do we have a criteria for friendship? Um, do we have a space in our lives where we are selective about people that we allow in our lives? Or, you know, do we just accept persons, you know, just like that? Do you, do you require for your friend, is there a standard that you have in your friends? You want your friends to be like-minded individuals as yourself or you're comfortable with everyone? Um, for me, I'm, I, I like to learn from people and I'm comfortable with different persons and persons from different backgrounds because I like to learn. However, at the same time, I do have a criteria for friendship. Um, I do not uh, believe, I, I've never been one to really have a large circle of friends. Um, I never saw, saw the point in that. Now, I'm not knocking persons who, you know, they like to have a lot of friends. I'm not knocking those persons. That's fine if that works for you. But for me, I've always had a, a small circle of friends, maybe one or two. I never needed, I never understood that concept of having six or seven friends because I, I I would never be able to keep up with them. So I, I, I needed a small group because I can manage you. But I've never really, I, I never really understood having six, seven, eight friends. I never had that. So I, I wouldn't really understand that concept. But for other persons, if that works for them, then that's, that's fine. But um, having a friendship criteria is just something that, that works for you. Now, I'm going to slow down if I'm going too fast. Again, I just want to remind you, there is no guest in today. I'm doing this solo. This, I think this is my first time <laughs> doing it solo. Um, and so we're talking about the concept of friendship. Again, we're in holiday mode. And we're going to be in environments where we're going to be maybe around family and friends. Maybe there's going to be some type of holiday parties and different events that you may be a part of. And so what does the concept of friendship mean? And we see this play out and I'm gonna go over those things. We see this play out um, in the media with persons and their friends and friends who turn on other friends. And so we see this play out. So we wanna look at you know, the concept of friend and what does a friend truly mean? And so I'm gonna go into our comments. I'm gonna mute myself. because I don't wanna get any feedback quickly. Okay, thank you, Wellesley, for joining us. If you have any comment, um, I definitely wanna hear, hear, hear your feedback and what you deem um, friendship to be. But again, for me, again, I, I've always had a small circle of friends. I never could keep up with a lot of friends. That it just wasn't, it wasn't for me. Um, and the small group worked for me. But um, when I consider having a friendship criteria, it would be like-minded individuals. And again, I want to mention that I would not rule out someone that is different from myself because I like to learn. But at the same time, I wanted to be around people who can help me grow. Um, and so even in friendship, I've had friends who were older than me as well, because again, I want to be around persons that I can learn from. 
I can't learn from someone in the same space as me because we're going to be thinking alike. But someone who is a little bit older and someone who, who has experienced some things will be able to share things with me that would give me more insight into things that I didn't know. And so that has been, been a thing for me to have friends who are older than me, okay? And so as we think about, you know, the standards that we have for the friends and the level of friendship that we want. Um, and again, I just want to go, let me go back to that um, as it pertains to friendship criteria. You want to have people around you who are going to motivate you and also, again, who are going to level up with you. You want to see, you want to be, be able to develop, you want to grow. And so having those friendships that are going to help, um, help you in that way will definitely be beneficial. Okay, um, so I want to talk about the ending of a friendship, and I've experienced that. Um, I've been in situations where the friendship was a little bit toxic, in that uh, it just wasn't going anywhere in terms of, it just was not a healthy situation to be with, <laughs> be in, sorry. And so, for example, I just had a friend that always wanted something, um, always need, I need a favor, I need this, I need that, I need, I need, I need, I need, I need, I need friend. I'm not a fan of that because again, you wanna think about relationships that are going to be a fair exchange. It's not gonna be a situation where just this one person is always needing and always wanting something from you. And I've, I've been in that situation that is definitely uncomfortable because what happens is, in that instance where I wanted to, where I wanted to please the friend and assisting and doing and, and doing the favors for them, when I started to say no, like people say, all hell broke loose. That was a problem. I couldn't say no. I mean, it was it went downhill when I put my foot down. So when you start persons off, when you start giving into persons, giving into persons, and giving into the I need person. And you decide to put your feet down, you decide to put your foot down, that it, that it becomes a problem. And that was it. And so that brought in the end of that friendship because that friend was uncomfortable with me telling them, no, I can't do this. So they would ask for a favor. And it could be something simple. They were asked for a favor. And I, I would say, listen, I can't do that because so this is the case. And it was always an explanation. I had to explain why I couldn't do that. And I'm like asking myself, why do I have to explain myself to another person? Listen, if you're my friend and I'm saying to you that the favor that you're asking me is going to put me in a position that is not going to be helpful to me, you should be, um, you should be willing to hear me out and you should be able to accept that. You're not, you, you should not be challenging me and telling me, oh no, that's not the case. You're going to be fine. No, don't challenge me. If I say no, and I'm not capable of doing something, if you're my friend, you should be able to accept that. And when that person did, when that person did not accept my no, that brought in the end of the friendship because they just couldn't let it go. They couldn't let it go. And they kept coming back and they kept coming back and they kept pushing me, they kept pushing me and keep asking me to do something that I said no to. And I realized that that really wasn't a friend. Um, they were just looking out for themselves and looking out for what they could get out of the friendship. So when you find yourself in a situation with someone who always want to take and never want to give, that, that's not a friendship that you want to be a part of. Um, so let me just take a quick minute and go to the comments. Thank you, thank you, uh, Wellesley, for joining us. And so if you have any comments or if you have any similar experience, feel free to share, I do wanna hear from you. Um, and so I also wanna talk about uh, another aspect of friendship. And we're not gonna be too long today because again, I'm doing it, doing this solo today. It's my first time going solo. I don't have a guest today, I'm here by myself. So, um, but that's okay, I can, I can handle this. So, um, this is another aspect of friendship, jealousy and envy. And I don't think we talk about it a lot because I think people are comfortable talking about this because 
we feel that, you know, our friends shouldn't be jealous or they shouldn't be envious of us. But guess what? It's a reality. And so do you think it's natural for a friend to be jealous or envious of another friend? And it's a reality. It happens. And we see this, this, this play out um, in different um, real life situations that happen to people where they, they, their friends turn on them, literally turn on, turn on them. And it's been so many different situations, so many different cases where friends turn on other friends. Even in our country, even the, the, the Bahamas, you had a group of friends that were sentenced because they beat another friend, okay? I, I don't wanna go into specifics about that, but it happens. And so what does this mean? This means that we have to be selective about our circle and our friendships and who we have around us. Because um, if you're my friend, you shouldn't be able to flip on me at the, at the drop of a dime. If it takes something happening for you to just say things um, just out of the blue, that means that that was always there. You always wanted to say those things. You just needed an opportunity to reveal who you really were. Because if you were my friend, and if you were a true friend, you would have never let those words come out of your mouth. You, the, you would have never want to see me hurt or you would never want to hurt me. And so it takes different situations to reveal people's true feelings about you. And so you have to be very mindful or very careful of your circle um, because it takes a friend <laughs> to turn on you. And, you know, we see it play out where um, even with law enforcement, even with the law, when there's something that happens, when there's a murder that happens, the first place they go to is to either the, the relative or uh, of, of, uh, or the, those ones that are close, those ones that are close to you. Why is that? That's because people who are close to you have the insider's information. They know everything about you. And so someone needs to get to you. If, if there's someone who needs to hurt you or if there's someone who needs to do whatever they need to do to you, they need to get inside information. They need to know your whereabouts. Who's gonna have that information? <laughs> your friends, who's gonna have that information? So you have to be very careful with the people that you have around you because you may think that these people are your friends, but they're really spies. <laughs> They're really there to watch. They're watching you and they're seeing what you're doing. They're seeing what you're up to and waiting for the perfect opportunity to pounce. And again, I'm not talking about real friends. I'm not talking about, because you do have situations where, you know, people really have true friends who are really like family. They're really like kinfolk and they really love on you and they really support you. I'm not talking about those persons. I'm talking about those ones who really are just, secret agents that they, they, they hang around they're always around they never support you <laughs> you you start a business they're not coming to they're not coming to buy anything from you they'll go to the next person <laughs> they'll go to the they they will intentionally go to another person and and purchase from them oh you do here oh no they're not coming to you they're gonna go to the next person and get their hair done you do nails oh oh no they're not coming to support you they're going to the <laughs> they're going to the next person so you want to be mindful of these things especially when you you know you see things unfold sometimes it takes simple situations just to see the heart of a person and so you have to be mindful of your circle if you're involved in different things and you're 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 um starting a business, whatever it is you're doing, and you find that your circle is not cheering you on, they're not supporting you, you, you need to question that. Okay, so I'm just going to take a minute to go to the comments again. Okay, so if you're just coming in and you're just joining, feel free to add your comment. I do want to hear from you. But again, I just want to 
reiterate the, the importance of friendship and being aware of your circle, knowing who you have around you, knowing that the group that you have around you that you tell that you pass information on to really truly has your back. Okay, so for advice, advice to offer to maybe persons who are younger um, in terms of selection of friends, um, sometimes it's not about the quantity of friends, but, you know, and I know it sounds, I know it sounds cliche, but it's not about the quantity, it's about the quality. And you really want to be mindful that you have a group around you that's really really supportive of, supportive of you. You wanna observe your friends, you know, cause sometimes people, they have friends around them, they have people around them, but they don't observe them. They don't consider them. They don't think about their, their friendship group. Sometimes you just have to sit back and watch the people around you and, you know, think about their reactions to you. Because sometimes again, when you put people in the right place and in the right situation, they reveal their heart. They re reveal how they truly, <laughs> how they truly feel about you. And so, I want to talk about importance, importance of friendship. And uh, the Bible speaks to this. You know, a friend who speaks a good word in a good season is a good thing. And when you have a friend who can pour into you, especially when you're in going through difficult times, you're going through challenging situations, definitely can be a blessing. And, you know, sometimes they just have the, they know the right word to say to you at the right time, especially if they know you, they're able to pour into you, they're able to pray over you, they're able to encourage you, they're able to uplift you. And if you have that type of person around you, that is a friendship that is to be treasured. And that is very important when you have people around you who can pour into you, who can pray over you, who can encourage you who can uplift you because um, going through different situations and being someone, if you're only human, you have different situations that you go through, that you're faced with. And so you wanna have people around you who are able to really pour into you. And so if you have that type of friendship around you, that's great, that's, that's, that's a good thing. Okay, so friendship is important. So definitely do not wanna diminish or devalue friendship. Okay, so that brings me to my fast talk, fast talk segment. And I'm gonna give myself 60 seconds to go through each of these questions. And the first question is, what are the qualities of a good friend? So the qualities of a good friend for me would be someone who is genuine and someone who really has a genuine interest in the friendship. There's a fair exchange where you empower each other, they empower you and you empower them. And it's not, I take, I take, I take, and you get nothing, okay? So that's, that's the quality of a good friend for me. Second question, how do you maintain a good friendship? Um, you maintain a good friendship by being friendly. <laughs> Um, so you maintain your friend by just being a good friend to them. Um, you want someone to be a good friend to you, you should be a good friend to them. It shouldn't be a situation where they're always there for you and you're never there for them. And so it should be, again, a give and, a give and, take, a give and take situation. Um, do you think it's possible to have a platonic friendship? So that's a friendship between uh, male, female, female, um, male. Yes, it is possible. I think it's possible. I can only speak from the female side of it. I think that when a woman puts a man in the friend zone, he kind of stays there. So I think that is definitely possible. Um, what should you do if you discover your friend is really not your friend? If you find yourself in a situation where you discover your friend is not genuine, that's basically time to end that friendship. That's time to leave and be done. <laughs> okay, so we have come to the end of our fast talk segment and there's no really additional comment I wanna add, but I do wanna say that again, 
um, when you find that you have a really good friend, you have someone who is really a true friend, that's definitely something to value. That's something to hold on to because it's very difficult to find a friend who's really genuine and who really has your best interest at heart. And when we consider this holiday season and we engage with family and friends, you wanna consider your circle. You wanna think about the persons who you have around you. We're going into new year. And so you wanna, you wanna consider your, your, your friend group. This is definitely important because, you know, to me, I mean, it's not about the quantity of friends to me. Like I said, it's all about the quality. And for me, I never felt like it, it's, it's, it's a great thing to have a bunch of people around you and they're still not genuine toward you. So to me, that makes that, to me, that doesn't make sense. If I get, if I'm going to have a group of persons around me, a whole lot of persons around me and none of them have my best interests at heart, I would rather be by myself. Okay. And so, um, I'm going to come to my closing again, but I just wanted to mention if there are any commentary that you would like to add, if you have any friends that you, you have you experienced that friendship thing. I know it's, it's something that we've seen played over and over and over and over again. And so uh, friendship is a serious thing because friends can make, <laughs> literally make or break you as a friendship is a serious thing and if you're just joining us I just want to mention that I am I have no guests today but I'm talking about friendship I'm talking about the importance of friendship what does friendship mean what does friendship mean to you do you think that you have that level of friendship where it's a give and take where this person pour into you you're able to pour back and you have you both have a fair exchange amongst each other or it's a situation where this person just takes, takes, takes and leaves nothing behind for you. And so you just want to be mindful as we go into this holiday season again of the friendships that we have around us. And so that brings me to closing, um, closing out the session. And I want to thank you for joining us today. Um, so I would like to mention, um, I would like to thank you for joining us. And um, just want to remind you that if you want to advertise with us, let us know. We definitely want to hear from you. And we definitely want to grow to those watching via social media. Thank you for listening in. Like our page for future notifications of upcoming talks. Comment under this video. Let us know your thoughts. Let us know what you want, what you think, what you want us to talk about. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel and our other social media pages. And I just want to jump back again and see if there are any 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 comments at this time I don't see any but uh well I, I did see I want to thank you well see for joining us uh, today let me just meet myself quickly okay thank you so much for joining us and so that brings us to the end of our session I want to thank Thank those persons who were listening in today um so again you can subscribe to our page using those links that are on the page and we come to the end of the session. So remember, let's think, talk, do. Thank you. Have a great one.